once in a while you will come across a very stressful and difficult client. Maybe he's extremely demanding and it's not even possible to satisfy his demands. Maybe he's passive aggressive, sucking out your energy, won't pay on time, could be any reason. And in this video here, I really want to clearly share some strategies. How can you deal with difficult and stressful clients? How can you have less of those? I um, worked with 400 people so far together in a one-on-one -on -one setting as a coach. A hundred of those were entrepreneurs. So I do have some experience how to deal with clients, with people who pay you money and you're giving them a service and how you can deal with very stressful clients better. And I have three points for you. The first point is about attracting clients. So I don't want to only today talk about how we can um, deal with this burning fire right now. How can we deal with this one difficult, stressful client right now? I want you to think a little more long term. And I want to ask yourself very honestly, why am I attracting those difficult clients? Maybe it's simply your style. You know, maybe I'm not sure what type of business you're in, but maybe the way you come across and, and, and do your marketing, you're not really authentically you. And with being authentic, I don't mean that you need to show everything of you, but that you show an authentic side and how giving them a good idea of how working together would look like. Just as a vibe, how you come across, how this works. Because if you're not authentic there, you also cannot really be fully authentic when you do the fulfillment. And though if you're then suddenly authentic, then there will be some different expectations coming up and that's difficult and for everybody. So what's your style? How do you come across? How are you actually like? Also, what are the expectations that your clients have? Because you communicated them that way. You gave them this expression. You know, maybe it's the problem is you, you know, just because it's a stressful client doesn't mean that the client is the problem. We've all been ourselves stressful clients at some point when our expectations haven't been met and we still want some revisiting or whatever it is. So what expectations do you set in the beginning when you attract the clients? What do you promise them? And also what prices are you charging? I, I had one client before he was working with me. He said he's been working with, uh, with an, some psychology app and then he, I think he just paid like a hundred bucks for four sessions full hour sessions with apparently psychologists and yeah well he also noticed you get what you pay for and the question though is you know in the beginning he didn't take it serious what kind of people are coming to you if you're having dumping prices people who are not taking your service seriously in the beginning you also thought well i should work on a couple of stressful and anxiety things that i have um, but it's not as important let's just pick something cheap those people are demanding, those people are not really into it, don't be, they, those people don't really value your work. And then the more it got urgent, he noticed, I gotta solve this properly. Let's find a proper psychologist, a proper coach who has really good experience and is good at his job. And then he's suddenly also willing to pay a little more than 25 bucks per hour. And then he also takes it serious. And this is when this client came to me. Now, he is a different type of client back then when he worked very cheaply for somebody else and paid very, very few money. So same person, he's not the problem, it's just also his expectations, which stage he's at in life. So the pricing already is a very good filter for high quality clients as well. Yeah, so that's the first one. How do you attract people? Think about this. This is the probably the least sexy part you want to listen right now, but it's the most important. Secondly is setting boundaries. So this is about in the very beginning, yes, when you don't even work together, but also when you start working together in the very beginning, when you're about to start working, you said, okay, let's do this, let's get started. What boundaries are you setting for yourself? Because if you don't set them, clients will just do whatever they do. And that's maybe about when and whether clients can reschedule. Um, so they have straight expectations there. Um, what they get and also what they don't get. You need to make this very deliberate. If you go on my landing page, I even have a couple of bullet point points where I deliberately say, hey, those are my expectations. If you're not like that, you're not for me. I, and, and maybe some people might ask, well, how do I tell people what they cannot expect? You just tell them. I clearly tell people like, hey, if you're not willing 
to commit on this for this amount of price and you want to like chunk it up and pay per session then this is not for you i only work with people who are able to commit at least for a little bit i'm not asking for much to be honest this is not massive here but i need you to commit for a certain price otherwise the coaching won't be also powerful if you're not even committing to this I need you to be on this level. I need you to make this amount of money maybe. I need you to be in this career or have those characteristics. Otherwise this coaching or otherwise my, my work that I provide to you is not for you. Tell them. This by the way will also improve your marketing. You actually get more clients if you do it that way. And because the people that are actually fitting right here really feel like it's tailor-made and it is right because you only work with those type of people together and you've seen so much the best feeling that a client can have is that he's nothing special so yeah i've done this <laughs> i've done this like 20 30 40 times before i worked with people with very very similar symptoms very similar struggles not a big deal that's what the client wants to feel and you do this with the specific marketing and by also cutting out people so attracting clients, setting the right boundaries and expectations. And when you also set those expectations, you also need to learn to have those difficult conversations. This is a key point here. If you learn how to, how to have difficult conversations with your clients, that's the key. And 99% of the time, the conversation will always end in a very positive and good way. And you will be relieved that you have it. So attracting clients, setting boundaries um, with the expectations and having difficult conversations. And the last point is honesty. I want you to be brutally honest. Um, and maybe sometimes you also need to let go of a client. And the question is how do we, how because they're too demanding right? way too demanding it's just not possible they demand things that are maybe not even your skill set and then you have to be honest you just say it the way it is you say hey well well um to be honest the expectations that you have are outside of my scope i don't think i'm the best option for you here and I, th I think you should work together with somebody else. And then if they still are like, no, I, I want to keep working with you, you can just still be either strict or you can start having a conversation about how are his new expectations? How will working together will work out in the future? And then you set the expectations straight. But also I have to say those type of conversations where you where you're about you know to, to cut the relationship this is nothing that you will do quite often um, if you if you're thinking about doing this with multiple people probably there's a problem with you <laughs> i mean what kind of expectations did you set in the beginning why are those people reaching out to you why they started working together with you you should have noticed this already way earlier and not even work with those people together or just set the expectations straight so they have the good idea. So that's a fundamental idea I want you to take away from this video is that it's not the, the client is not the problem. The problem is you. You didn't do the right job to pre-frame them and set the expectations straight. That's all there is. Clients only become demanding and stressful if this is what you promised, that's what they get, and they say, wait, no, 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 but I want to get what I thought I would get. That's when it's becoming stressful. That's it. All right. I hope this helped. Uh, let me know what worked out and what doesn't. If you need some more help, because this is just a general big picture video, if you have really some seriously stressful clients or you have a serious problem by getting stressed by a lot of clients and you know it's something internal that you need to work on having a lot of anxiety here then we can work on that i've done this quite um, some time probably specifically people who are dealing with stressful clients and having this anxiety feeling probably with like 20 entrepreneurs 
So I see already some patterns, we can work on that. And I suggest that you just book a call. We have a free first consultation. We work out a great strategy and plan how you can work on that. It will be just a value call for free. So all you need to do is to just click the link below and sign up for a call. And yes, you will get um, the, the, the link will bring you to the landing page. And there are also a couple of bullet points that you need to meet so we can work together. Very clear. And also in the first coaching, in the first free consultation call, there will be actually two calls. In the first call, we also understand whether we are a good fit or not. And I will tell you if we are not. But let's give it a try. Um, let's talk.